Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to host static files like this HTML file right here to your AWS EC2 instance using Docker and Nginx. That sounds really complicated, but Docker makes it super simple and you don't have to deal with any configuration files and it makes it super, super easy. So let's just get right to it. We need to tell Docker what to do. So we need to create a Docker file. So we're gonna create a text document right in this folder right here that we have this folder called www that I have all of my files saved in for my website that I want. So I'm gonna create a new text document and I'm just not gonna name it right now. And I am going to paste in this information right here. And basically what this means is we're saying from, that's a command, and we're downloading it from the Docker repository. We're downloading Nginx, and we wanna download the latest version of it. And we want to copy it to this period, which that means in the directory that this file is saved in. And then we want to only download this stuff right here, which is this directory we're only downloading that information from Nginx. So we're not downloading more than we need. And so well, once we have that written down, we're gonna hit save, we're gonna close it. And now what we wanna do is we wanna rename this file because it can't be a doc text file. So we're gonna hit uh, rename and we're going to delete the .txt from the front. And we're gonna name it capital D docker file, no spaces, and we're gonna hit enter. And we want to hit yes because it, it, it'll give us that warning because it doesn't have an extension, but it doesn't need one. So now what we need to do is send that information de over to our server, our EC2 instance. And I'm going to use FileZilla for that. Um, I already have this www folder with all of this information already in here, which is the same place that we just edited. And we're going to click this and we're going to drag it over to our EC2 instance. And it, we're dragging it over specifically to EC2 dash user, uh, because that's what our EC2 user can edit. Um, so we're going to copy this directory right here because now we're going to go to our SSH client and we want to input commands into that folder specifically. So we're gonna type in cd space and then put where we wanna issue the command, which is the directory that we just put in. We're gonna hit enter. So now we're in the folder that this www folder right here. Um, so now what we need to do is create the Docker image from the file that we created. So I'm gonna copy this right here. And ultimately what this does is it builds the Docker image from the Docker file that we just had. So it says Docker build Nginx app. That's just what we're gonna name this Docker image and period. That means it's from the Docker file where we are right now. Um, so now what we wanna do is run the Docker image. We've created the image, but it's not running as a container. So we're gonna copy that, paste it right here. What this does is it runs the Docker image as a container and we're naming it Docker www. We're running it on ports 80 and it's Nginx runs on port 80 inside the Docker image and it's on the host. It's going to be running on port 80 as well. And we're running it from, we're building this container from this Docker image that we had just created. So I had just run it. So now it's running. So if I do Docker container ls, we see that Docker www is running. So this is all we need in SSH now. Now all we need to do is to figure out how to get the IP address. And so I just have my, this example one right here. That's the one that we're using right now. And I am going to copy the IP address. I'm going to paste it right here, but it will not work because the security group is, 
has not opened port 80. So what we have to do is figure out the security group that is on the instance that we want. Then we have to go to security groups and fit, find that same security group. And so I just clicked example because that's the one. And we want to change the inbound rules. And we want to open up a custom TCP port. We want to open up port 80. And then we want to run it on with this 000. This is opening up port 80. So now if I go here, my website is running on the internet and the ports are all open.